Welcome back on Hashtag Awani. As promised, we have a set of ordinary Malaysians like you and I commenting on Malaysia's waste mentality. Astro Awani's Isa Isilan gets the down low. I just want to get your opinion. How are Malaysia standards when it comes to waste management, you know, the society's mentality and also the authorities' approach in general? Well, to, to be fair, I think the what what happened over the weekend about the uh, the, uh, the trucks dumping the uh, rubbish on the side of the highway, it's, 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 it's a matter of time. Um, this is a waste management problem, in especially in Klang Valley. It's like a ticking bomb. It's a time bomb waiting to happen. Um, it is not this year, the next couple of years, it will happen. What will happen? What, what's happening is that most of our landfill, uh, our sanitary or non-sanitary landfills are going over the brim. It is uh, filling up to the brim and they can't take any more. Mm -hmm. uh, which is why it forces some of the authorities to propose um, the, the not-so-good incinerators, rubbish incinerators happening in Puchong and all. Um, you ask me if uh, we have a very good uh, waste management policy. Uh, we had a new Solid Waste and Public Cleansing Management Act in 2007. Um, mm -hmm. It's a new act where it tried to encompass all the waste management in the whole peninsula of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, but implementation-wise, that's another story. Lah. Okay, so, so uh, what, what is your take on the society's mentality uh, in, in this specific context of Malaysians? Well, um, uh, again, uh, another unpopular move would be uh, our waste management fee uh, charged by our local council is still very, very low. Mm. Um, it's because of this low fee and people are not re not all regarding this service of rubbish or waste management as a necessary uh, service. Mm -hmm. uh, take for example, um, certain countries, if you don't separate your trash, they will actually give you a fine and, and not collect your trash for mm -hmm. the rest of the year kind of thing. Um, in, in Malaysia, we have exceeded uh, any recommendation for any developing countries uh, per capita, per ton of, of waste, waste generated per day. Uh, the last we have, the, um, we, the last number we have in 2005, Kuala Lumpur or Klang Valley, people are producing 3.4 3 tons of rubbish per day. Wow. That is enormous, yeah. Okay, Adrian, you are involved in a lot of uh, eco or environmental movements here in Malaysia and also globally. So, in general, are Malaysians waste management conscious? Do they care about, you know, managing their waste? Well, um, managing our waste, it's really unheard of. Uh, what <laughs> what uh, from Sadly. A, from, a, from a consumer point of view, it's like once, the trash bag leaves outside my gate or my, my house. It's, it's none of my issue. Um, even though if my trash can outside my house is uh, filled with holes, if the night, the night after the dogs or the cats around the neighborhood picked up my trash, it's not my problem. So it, it, it has become where what anything outside my house is, is EBKLs or any local council's issue. So this is a very uh, not so good uh, mentality to have. Right? As a Malaysian and as a youth yourself, how can we make Malaysians uh, care more about the environment? How can I think first and foremost is just to show that our actions have consequences and relate to Malaysians in general that uh, all the like for example the current uh, East Coast floods. Uh, and whatever natural disasters that are happening worldwide are not are not happening just because it's happening, but we as humans, uh, as part of the world, play a role in it. So even in Malaysia, whatever happens in Malaysia, such as the East Coast floods and all that kind of thing, natural disasters, we are partly responsible for, for that based on our actions. I'm sure you've encountered some occasions where people throw rubbish out of their car windows, right? So yeah. what's up with that? That drives me up the wall. I guess it's mentality lah at the end of the day. You know, like, they want an easy way out. So, you know, those kind of lines where, oh, don't worry, it's biodegradable, or, oh, don't worry, if we don't 
throw the rubbish out the window, the cleaners will be out of the job. So, mm-hmm. that's what their mentality is. So, if you educate, even if you educate, they refuse to do it, they choose to be ignorant, what's the point? Okay, so in your opinion, education is not a problem here, is it? Hello? Sorry? Hello, yeah. So, how can we make, um, you know, waste disposal um, and recycling more accessible to people? Um, how accessible? Yeah, because if you see in malls or or even oh, residential yeah. areas, you don't see a lot of recycling bins actually. Yes. So how how, do we sh- how should we uh, make make uh, how should we make it more accessible? I was thinking about that as well because you have pop- like if you have more proper disposal or recycling centers or bins around, it will probably help because like like you said just now, there are a lot of recycling bins around. But I see general trash bins. Mm-hmm. Outnumber them, so if you give, it's not just us. It's not really our fault because when authorities just put more general trash cans, then we tend to just throw our rubbish away. Mm. So if they are recycling bins, more recycling bins and centers, at least we have that option to go to the recycling bins and then recycle. Thanks, Isa, and that's all for today on Hashtag Awani. Do send us your views of any, on any of the topics that we have discussed today on Astro Awani's Facebook and at 501Awani on Twitter. And don't forget to Hashtag Awani. That's all. I'm Cynthia Ng, and goodbye.